Good morning to our worship this morning on Tuesday morning. My name's Bev. It's lovely to be with you this morning. Um, if I just want to spend a few minutes just greeting each other. Thank you for all your comments on the chat section before we've started. Um, I'm going to start by reading a poem from the Iona Worship book and this is called Today I Awake. Today I awake and God is before me. At night as I dreamt, he summoned the day, for God never sleeps, but patterns the morning with slithers of gold or glory in grey. Today I arise and Christ is beside me. He walked through the dark to scatter new light, yet Christ is alive and beckons his people to hope and to heal, resist and invite. Today I affirm the spirit within me. At worship and work, in struggle and rest, the scripture inspires all life which is changing, from fearing to faith, from broken to blessed. Today I enjoy the trinity around me, above and beneath, before and behind, the maker, the son, the spirit together, they call me to life, they call me his friend. So we're going to read a psalm this morning, we're going to read together Psalm 8. So I'll give you a few minutes to find that in your Bibles. Psalm 8. O Lord our God, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens. From the lips of children and infants you have ordained praise. Because of your enemies to silence the foe and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place, what is man that you are mindful of him, the son of man that you care for him? You made him a little lower than the heavenly beings and crowned him with glory and honour. You made him ruler over the works of your hands. You put everything under his feet, all flocks and herds and beasts of the field, the birds of the air and the fish of the sea. All that swim the paths of the seas, O oh Lord, O oh Lord, how majestic is your name in all of the earth. So let's just spend a few minutes just reflecting on some of the things from that psalm, some of the words. The word majestic. At the beginning and the end of the psalm, it was very important to David that we all knew how majestic God is, how great God is, how glorious God is, that God reigns over all creation. And let's think about that today. Let's think about the God that reigns in our life. How majestic is God to us? Do we proclaim God to be majestic at the beginning and at the end of the day? Do we appreciate all creation? Let us think about creation now. It's wonderful, isn't it, at the moment? The flowers are starting to bloom in the gardens. It's very peaceful. The sky is very blue. Seen some lovely examples of creation just by celebrating church at home. Beautiful pictures of the tree in Lydia and John's garden. Paula planting a vegetable plot. Members of my home group sharing lovely pictures of gardens and paintings of creation. Somebody from the My Time group who has a wonderful garden, not only sharing photographs but sharing her garden for those who want to come in and enjoy it while she sits inside her house. Many of you are walking, jogging, 
maybe appreciating part of creation that you didn't see before. Things that God's just given us. Things that we can enjoy. Sometimes let's think about the things we get that are new. Think about the things that we we buy for ourselves and how exciting those things are when they first come. You know, that's like God's creation, isn't it? You know, sometimes it just becomes exciting at the beginning and then it dulls off as we get used to it. And I just think that today perhaps we could think of creation as we see it now from isolation, as we may appreciate it more, the things that God, God gives to us. You know, so much of life is a miracle, isn't it? Let's think about those miracles. Let's think why the sun shines every day. Let's think why the moon comes out at night. Let's think about why one season follows another. Let's think today whether we could once again in our lives have that sense of awe and wonder. The awe and wonder that a child has. Let's think about a child. Let's think about being a child. Everything's exciting. Everything's wonderful. And children discover new things all the time. And let's think today about what we can discover about God. But above all, let's say to God, Lord, how majestic is your name? How wonderful are you? What might we be doing today? Are you at home with a new baby? Educating a primary school child or trying to calm a teenager who doesn't want to do what you want them to do. Have you got to go to work today as a key worker? Are you caring for others? Caring for vulnerable people? Going shopping? Are you feeling lonely? Are you feeling bored and fed up? Are you feeling happy? Are you just as busy in lockdown as you would be on a normal day? Are you missing family? You know, whatever situation you're in today, let's just take a few minutes and just put all those situations into, into God's glory. Let's just, let's just pray that whatever we're doing today, that we're doing that for God. And in all situations, let's each one of us just pray that we can make God majestic, God great in all those situations. We're going to spend some time together praying now. If you um, want to put comments in the chat section, then we'll pray about these things together. I'm just going to use a prayer um, for intersections and in between. Perhaps we can just say our own prayers or, as I say, share prayers in the chat. Let us pray. O oh God, early in the morning when the world was young, you made life in all its beauty and terror. You gave birth to all that we know. And we pray now for, for children. We pray for vulnerable children that are not happy being isolated in homes that are subject to domestic abuse, to bullying, to abuse of them. We pray for homes with new babies. We pray for homes with more children than people can cope with on lockdown. We pray for, for those who 
children are with them in refugee camps. We pray for for those who for them each day is a struggle. We pray for those that are just feeling lonely and isolated at this time. Lord, early in the morning when the world least expected it, a newborn child was crying in the cradle and answered that you had come amongst us. And we pray that you'll be with children everywhere today, Lord. Let's just have a few minutes' time praying for people that we know in situations with children. Early in the morning, surrounded by self-interested religious leaders, anxious statesmen and silent friends, you, Lord, accepted the penalty for doing good, for being God. You shouldered and suffered the cross. Let's just spend a few minutes now thinking of all that God's done for us. And maybe for the things that that we've done to upset others this week, the things we want to say sorry to God for. And early in the morning, Lord, we come to you. We thank you for each one of us. Let's just pray now for our, our church friends, those we know from church. Spend a few minutes thinking about what our friends might be doing today. And a few minutes praying for our families. For our neighbours. For those known to us in our home groups. For John and Ant and their families. We just bring all our prayers to you. Lord, as we go into this day, as we go into Tuesday, Set your blessings, Lord, on each one of us. As we as your church in Mapley, meeting in our own homes, begin this day together. Let us still be your church, where we are. Let us still make your name majestic amongst everyone we meet today. Everyone we're in isolation with. Those we are homeschooling whether we are working, walking or out jogging. Make us witnesses for you, Lord, in all we do. And as we close, let's just spend a few minutes offering this day to God. Lord, use us this day for whatever you need to use us for, to be whatever you want us to be. And Lord, may we make your name majestic with all those we meet. We thank you, Lord, for today and for all creation. Amen.